the application will come up here showing a map and you will see points for all of the addresses currently on our waiting list. And in the top right corner, I'm going to bring up the legend. And here you can see different colors, uh, what they indicate. So currently on our waiting list, all of these addresses are listed as waiting. But as we get them scheduled and completed, you will see points of additional colors. So I'm going to close that. The first thing to do to add a point to this waiting list would be in the top left corner in that search box, type the address that you want to add. So 11, uh, 15, Easterwood. You don't even have to type the full address. I uh, Often you can just select from the search suggestions below. So that first one is the one I'm looking for. When you select one of those addresses, the map will zoom to the correct location. Let me hide that pop-up. Uh, you'll see this guide dot here at indicating where the address is. That guide dot is only temporary. In order to add a dot to the map that is permanent to indicate the address that needs to be added to our waiting list, we will, on the right side, use this Smart Editor icon. Uh, that brings up a box with a little bit of directions, uh, just letting us know that if we select new feature, we'll be prompted to enter the address, contact information, notes, and status of the address we want to add to the waiting list. So selecting new feature, or yes, new feature. Once that is selected, we will then drop a point on the map. Here I can see a building footprint. That may not always be available. Uh, more rural locations may not have building footprints yet. But since I do have it here, I'm going to use that and place the dot right on top of the building. Once I place the dot on the map, a dialog box will come up asking for more information about that point, uh, starting with the address. Easterwood Drive. Um, it's not an apartment, so I will leave that blank. If it was apartment in this box, I would type an apartment, or if it was a unit, I would type unit, or I would type, uh, well, let me go ahead and type apartment and show you what happens. As soon as you type apartment, another box will appear asking for the apartment number. So is it apartment one, two, three? And that's how you would enter an apartment. But let's go ahead and clear that since this is not an apartment. And as long as the apartment field is blank, that box will disappear. Okay, so the city will be Tallahassee. Uh, the zip code, I believe, is 32311. Uh, then the next thing I want to point out is on this county list, there is a dropdown. Uh, so you can either select it from the dropdown or you can just start typing. Uh, request your name. Let's go with Testy Mick test face. Okay, and their phone number is 12345678901. Uh, notes, you can put anything that you want to note here. Uh, if they have a second phone number or an email address or restrictions on time, they can only do evenings or a language, they would like someone who speaks Spanish to come. Uh, any kind of thing that you would want to note. So here we're going to mark test only. All right, and then the next thing we'll be prompted for is the install test status. Since we are just adding this to the waiting list, I'm going to say it's waiting. And then we will say save. All right, and you will now see a dot has appeared on that building. I'm going to go ahead and close the smart editor. I'm also going to clear the address from this uh, search box in the top left here. Once I clear that address and hide the keyboard, uh, you'll see that the indicator dot has disappeared. However, the dot that I just added to the map through the Smart Editor remains. Okay, so let's say we have this, is, this, dot, this address has been on our waiting list, and it's now time to call and schedule the appointment. Uh, so we can click on the dot. That will bring up a pop-up with the information we added, so the address, the requester's name, and their phone number. If you use these three ellipses on the bottom, we can go back into the Smart Editor. After we've called them and confirmed this address and have set up a scheduled time, we come down to the bottom. Uh, change the status from waiting to scheduled. Once we have done that, we'll be prompted to enter a scheduled date. So let's say scheduled for May 4th. Uh, we also have the option to enter a time, uh, but that is not required, so I will leave it blank. And then I'm going to say save. I'm going to close the Smart Editor back up. I can then come click on that point again. And you can see the, the information has been updated. 
it says it lists the time of 12 12 a.m midnight that is the default time uh so it if you don't list the time it defaults to that if you do list the time however though it will list the correct time that you list okay so let's say we've gone and done the install and we have returned and we want to update its status so let's go back again to those three ellipses and into the smart editor if we scroll down to the bottom we can change the install status from scheduled to complete oops sorry scheduled to complete all right once we have done that we will be prompted to enter the number of alarms installed so let's say it was two and then we'll say save and we'll close and I'm going to zoom out of the map and you can see that the color has changed on the dot to indicate that it is a completed install. Okay, so that's how you would add a point to, to the map or add an address, sorry, to a map, uh, update its status from waiting on the install list to schedule to complete.